Hello everyone, Monkle Zunky here, and this is going to be my Slayer Guide for Avian Seas. Before we get started into everything, um, I just want to note that for Avian Seas task, you can actually kill the Armadillo boss, the Kriara. So if you're really into PVMing and you enjoy killing Kriara, I would recommend to go do that for your Avian Seas task. It's not the best XP, but it is a pretty good reason to go and do a little bit of bossing and possibly get a drop, while at the same time training a bit of Slayer. So with that being said, some of the pros and cons of this task is, for pros, it's a very short task. It only takes about 20 to 25 minutes. And also you can earn a bit of money from it because adamant bars at the moment are worth a lot. And avian seeds drop a lot of noted adamant bars. The cons are you don't get any charms from this task and the XP is not the greatest. So if that turns you off of this task, then I would recommend just to skip it. But at the same time, the task is very short, so um, I feel like it's still worth doing, and you get a bit of money as well. So with that being said, my gear setup is, although it looks a bit sketchy, fairly effective. Um, I'm wearing an armadillo chain skirt and a royal dehyde top. The armadillo chain skirt is for my armadillo item. I just don't have an armadillo chest plate at the moment, and I have a zamorak stole for my zami item. Those are the only two god items that you need. You can bring a Sarah item if you want to avoid taking damage when you first come into the God Wars dungeon, but in the Armadil area, there are no um, Sarah Domen creatures. For a weapon, I'd recommend a, Sarah, a Royal Crossbow at least. If you are only 70 range, then bring a Black Salamander with Herolander Tar as a ammo. And for ammo, I have Royal Bolts, and of course, Avalos Alerter, and a Slayer Helmet, and Ganondorf Boots, and a Ring of Wealth. So my gear is a bit welfare, but it works fairly well for killing the avian seas. And then my inventory, I have an extreme ranging, a super restore, I have a ring of slain, a bone crusher, which is nice because the avian seas drop bones. You can also bring a demon horn, horn necklace if you have some other Zamorak item to wear, or if you don't worry about the Gorak in the area attacking you, which is a Zami creature. And I have an extra bunny up and a Trollheim teleport. So the sharks are just for if I get damaged too much by the spiritual mages when entering the God Wars dungeon. So as soon as you're ready, just um, teleport to Trollheim and proceed to the God Wars dungeon as usual. I'm not going to show how to do that because I'm sure everyone that knows what aviancies are knows how to get to the God Wars dungeon. To kill avians effectively, of course, you need at least 70 range, but I dearly hope that if you are using Curadil as a Slayer Master who assigns avians that you have at least 70 range. So just go down into the God Wars dungeon and rest up a bit before we actually um, go into the Armadil area, which is just a bit south of where I am, for those who have never been to the Armadil boss before. And we want to actually go into the Armadil area. There are a few aviancies outside, so if you don't have 70 range and you happen to get this task, you can kill a few aviancies outside, but you will get attacked by the Ceridomen creatures unless you have a Ceridomen item. Um, so I just happen to kill them right across the deep chasm because um, there's usually hardly anyone here. Um, there are no bots aviancies as of late, uh, at the time of making this video at least. And if there is someone gathering kill count, you can always just go deeper into the area and train there instead. So as I said, there are no charms for this task, and aviancies also do not drop effigies. However, if you're killing Armadil, of course you can get an effigy from there. But uh, with the Royal Crossbow, you can kill them in like three or four hits usually. It's very, very fast, and they do drop a lot of noted adamant bars. Um, you usually get the amount of adamant bars you get is about um, the amount of aviancies you kill because the aviancies drop the noted adamant bars in fours and it's about a one in four drop rate roughly of course sometimes you will get more than a one in four drop rate and sometimes you will get less than a one in four drop rate because that's just the nature of the game but that is roughly what you can expect and at the moment at the time of making this video adamant bars are 3.5k each so that means each drop is um, just about 14,000 GP per adamant bar drop. Um, so that is pretty good for every four adamant for every four avian seas you kill, you're getting 14,000 GP. Um, that's not too much to argue with. You can make usually around 500 or 600k per task per avian sea task that you get from Curadel, depending on how many she assigns. And it only takes about I would say 25 minutes with the Royal Crossbow at most. So it is fairly quick. That's about all for my avian seas guide. Um, you will get a lot of these adamant bars while trading here. And as you can see, they're worth a fair amount. 
Thanks for watching and please stay tuned for any future Slayer guides because I will be making more in the future and I will be making lots of other guides and other content as well. Farewell.